Yo, whether you watching from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram, moviepilot.com, or YouTube itself. What up, world? Man, we have survived another calendar, man. A lot of uh, some great movies. A lot of really good movies, some some decent movies, and a couple trash bags, bruh. Y'all know me, man. If y'all watch every week, man, you know that I, I review what I want to see. I, I get paid bi-weekly, man. I bust my ass 80 hours every two weeks so I can get paid. So I don't have the free time to go and literally see everything. So based on what I wanted to see this year, we got my, my 10 favorite movies of the year. Tres honorable mentions. That's how I always do. Because this video is going to be pretty long. Let's just get right into it, man. And my third honorable mention, number 13, if you will, is Sing. It, it recently just came out. If you a fan and keep up with my entire channel, you know I do more than just review movies. I rap. And I review hip-hop albums, too. I aspire to be in the music industry. I mean, this movie really hit me, man. The voice acting was on point. The animation looked great. That goes without saying. Uh, the stories, man. The my, Matthew McConaughey wanted to um, wants to run this theater. He, he already owns a theater. He just wants to make it iconic. You know what I'm saying? He decides to host a singing competition. Every, every other animal character that gets picked has these reasons not to do it, but they all chase their dream. And I found it very inspirational. I found, I was moved, you know what I'm saying? I, I was moved by this movie, man. It's, it's my favorite. I love Despicable Me. But this is my favorite, new favorite movie from Illumination Entertainment. It literally just came out. My review is posted. My review is linked below along with every other movie I'm going to talk about. So check the review and check out the movie. At my honorable mention number two spot, I'm going to catch so much hate for this. And look, I know it made its Oscar run in 2015. It got its widest release nationwide. It made it to my theater in January. So it qualifies for this video to me. And that's The Revenant. It's got hands down the best story of any movie I'm going to talk about. But these movies are ranked upon my level of enjoyment. And I just enjoyed other movies more. Leonardo DiCaprio carries this. He finally got his Oscar for this movie. Um, that bear tore his ass up. And then, and then you know, Tom, Tom Hardy, man. Tom Hardy was such a dick retro retribution was had man like i i love this movie i don't know i don't know how many times i can personally re-watch this movie it's a great movie and and deserves mention and and th this is where it sits my my honorable mention number one is another movie that i'm gonna either catch i'm gonna catch hate for because people loved it and it's this low or because people hated it and it's actually in the video but my number my honorable mention number one is Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. This could have been just a Batman movie. No Lex Luthor, no Superman, no Lois Lane. And it would have made my top ten. And I mean, there are just other movies that I enjoyed more. But Affleck's, perform Affleck's performance in this one movie solidified that he is the best cinematic Batman of all time, in my opinion. He nailed Bruce Wayne. He nailed Batman. And... I love Superman's struggle with I'm I'm busting my ass, breaking over backwards, and it's it's all this controversy over over if my if I should even exist. And I liked this Lex Luthor for what it was. I mean, this is what we got. You accept this Lex Luthor, he's gonna be in Justice League, accept it. He's likely gonna be in a Man of Steel sequel, accept it. Or just don't watch no more DCEU movies. I love this movie. Like, Zack Snyder be sneaking into Easter eggs, and and he's a fan. Zack Snyder is a fan. And all, all you all you 13-year-old high school clowns ain't even got no lunch money in, in, in the cafeteria talking about, fire Zack Snyder, fire Zack Snyder. But he's directing Justice League, man, so you're either going to go see that, just so you can have something to cry about, or or skip it. I mean, but I like, you know what I'm saying? I just, the the level of hate this movie got, I feel like is unwarranted. 
I, I thoroughly enjoyed this shit. At number 10, I got Star Trek Beyond. I was insanely worried. Cause I, I like the trailer. A lot the trailer got hate, but I like the trailer. So it looks like Fast and Furious in space. I mean, I was you know I didn't think that. I mean I thought it was fine. The song people cried about the song, but it was a throwback to the original movie. It's a sabotage. You got Idris Elba as the villain. He needs something that's aboard the Enterprise, and Kirk was just trying to do a favor. Um, and then crew members get kidnapped. You gotta plan a rescue mission. They're they're on their five year trek and and shit hits the fan if there's a fan in the enterprise. This, this reboot franchise is one of my favorite franchises currently going. I've heard that they want to bring back Chris Hemsworth for the fourth one. I hope it gets out sooner rather than later. At number nine, I got Finding Dory. Um, first off, man, baby Dory was like probably the cutest thing on the big screen this year you know, debate me give give me other candidates because you're not going to find anything cuter than dory at the movies this year dory's trying to find her family and she brings marlin and nemo with her and then she meets other new characters along the way man it's, it's another hit for pixar it's not as good as nemo but it's it's just, it's a hair lower and among the pixar rankings it's a few spots lower but this is another movie that should be seen by young and old alike. And like I said, I loved it. And the way that Cars 3 is looking, it could see this list next year. At number eight, I got The Accountant. And man, I, I just, I really like this story. I love the, the performance by Ben Affleck and Anna Kendrick and the way that they got pulled into what's going on. There was a tw there's a twist at the end that I, I I saw coming like halfway through. I didn't mind it because I just I the chemistry between the actors was great, man, top to bottom. At number seven, I got Sausage Party. I, if if you are hating, if you turning your nose up, the end, the third act of Sausage Party, is is worth a spot on this list, no matter what number. I man, like, I I enjoy the story. And I laughed my ass off in an R-rated animated movie, man. What more do you want? The voice acting was dope. I hope Seth Rogen makes more cartoons because this, this movie was so crazy. At number six, I got Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And it is just so tonally different from any of the episodic Star Wars movies. Completely new characters. Uh, a, a couple references to to the other movies that like just the vibe man just a completely different vibe and you already know what it leads into so seeing the seeing what happened before the very first movie it's just so cool and just so crazy to wrap my mind around at number five i got dr strange the most recent edition of the marvel cinematic universe and like I said in my review for that, like, cause like I said in my fourth quarter video, man, Stephen Strange was just such an unlikable, arrogant prick. And just to watch his character grow and become the hero we all expect to, just, I just thoroughly enjoyed it, man. Scott Derrickson killed it. Um, the side characters, the villain were all strong. Um... It, it furthered the MCU. It brought in a new element. It got us closer to Infinity War. I just, I, I can't wait to see what happens next with Doctor Strange and Marvel. At number four, I got the nice guys. Shane Black, Russell Crowe, Ryan Gosling. It was, it was, it was a perfect combination, man. It was R-rated, periodic, set in the 70s. Buddy Cop, f hilarious. Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling chemistry is... Some of the best chemistry I saw all year. A little who done it. I mean, great story. I mean, it didn't make that much in theaters, man. So if you haven't seen it, man, I highly recommend you go watch The Nice Guys. At number three, I got Zootopia. This is one of my favorite Disney animated releases in years, man. Like going in, I was like, man, there's no way this is better than Wreck-It Ralph. There's no way this is better than Big Hero Six. It's better than both of those. The kids love it because it's it's a, a, talking animals. Adults are gonna love it because of the 
the the serious themes that it throws at you, um, you know, classism, racism, uh, breedism as far as animals go. Uh, there's pop culture references. That boot man, that bootleg movie dealer man, he killed it. He killed it. I, w- I would love to see this become a franchise, like multiple movies. Uh, J- uh, Jennifer Goodwin, Jason Bateman were perfect. Idris Elba, uh, Jenny Slate. I mean, there's so many people in this movie. It's, it's cra- I can't even ramble them all off right now. But th- this, in my opinion, is hands down the best animated movie of the year. At number two, I mean, check the hat. Captain Deadpool. Deadpool. The trailers, the marketing. This movie was everything I wanted and more. I, Ryan, this is my favorite Ryan Reynolds movie. I want to. I can't wait to see Cable in the sequel. They need to get the dude from Avatar to play Cable. He's he's perfect. Uh, from the dude from Don't Breathe, the, the blind guy from Don't Breathe. He's perfect as Cable. The the breaking of the fourth wall. Fourth wall break within a fourth wall break. That's sixteen walls. I mean, it was just so funny. I I I, I, I want to quote something, and there's some there's like so much to choose from, man. Like it. It's like it's it's not a straight comedy, but it's probably the funniest movie I saw all year. It was just such a surprise, man. Like I've, I've been telling boys that, that Valentine's Day weekend is like the new like hot spot for like under the radar that takes everybody by surprise action movies, and I think Fox should keep Deadpool in that weekend. But Deadpool two is gonna be a summer release whenever it comes out, uh, and they're gonna but the John Wick director is gonna do that movie. So, Deadpool 2 is going to be serious, man. The Ferris Bueller post credit scene. Um, he should have he should have mocked the MCU, man. He should have he should have took made a took a jab at the MCU with that post credit scene, man, but Fox owns Ferris Bueller, man. The Ferris Bueller reference was perfect. And my number 1, man, my favorite movie of the year. Maybe not the best. Maybe not the most comic accurate. Shout out to my brother. Um, but my favorite movie of the year is, without a doubt, Captain America Civil War. I went in, Team Cap. I came out like, damn, they both had like really good arguments. They introduced, in my opinion, the perfect Black Panther. They introduced, in my opinion, the perfect Spider-Man. I mean, and I mean, everybody clowns and everybody wants to hate on Zemo, another weak Marvel villain. No, dude. Zemo initiated conflict within earth's mightiest heroes he divided the avengers he did what he set out to do he is arguably one of the best marvel villains Uh, that airport scene man that airport scene Uh, there's so much to talk about from this movie man it's just the whole thing with bucky the fight scenes are great the 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 initial chase between cat bucky and black panther they brought back thunderbolt ross from a movie that a lot of people like discredit as a mcu movie um, The Incredible Hulk is definitely an MCU movie. And it, like I said about Doctor Strange, man, it's, it excites me for the, the progression of the MCU. Guardians 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok. The, they'll all be on this list next year, bet. So, I mean, that's it, man. I want to know your 10 favorite movies of the year. There are, there are some movies that I wanted to watch to see if they could get on this list before the, the end of the year. Um... Kuo and the Two Strings, Hell or High Water, Arrival specifically. I tried to watch Arrival, couldn't do it. Um, check my letterboxed list though. After I see these movies, after I finally get to watch them, see where they place. So I've recently posted my three favorite movies of the fourth quarter. I've recently posted reviews for Sing, Passengers, Assassin's Creed, um, Why Him. Check those out. Rogue One, Rogue One, Collateral Beauty. Check those reviews. Um, most anticipated movies of the year coming. Underworld, Sleepless, Live By Night, Patriot's Day. Hopefully I get to review all those. 2016 was a decent year, man. I, I had a lot of fun doing these reviews practically every weekend. Um, I mean, check, me on, check me on Letterboxd. Check me on Movie Pilot. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Find me where you find me, man. Don't know where to find you, man. Watch the end credits, bruh. Peace.